I grew up in Oakland, California on 95th and 8th Street. I think my background has a lot to do with who I am today. I've persevered through life. Being from Oakland, you just have a, a different grit about you. Northern Cali, Northern Cali, different type of drip, you know what I mean? Bay Area, Oakland, Oakland, San Fran, San Fran, whole clips, California lifestyle, hustling my lifestyle. Got beef, don't wait, we can settle right now. Little homie pipe down, raised around real G's, hustle any weather years. I wouldn't want to live nowhere else ever. You get it too, but in your city, but we do it better. Bay Area, Oakland. After college, I had no NBA interest, and that was dark for me. You work to get to a point to achieve your dreams, right? And so when I saw like my dreams kind of fade away, that was it was sad. I was upset, and it was a reality, kind of like a reality check. Like, and you know, now it's time to move on. It's time to you know change the chapter. Playing professionally in Mexico was a lot of fun. That was a great highlight of my life. I found the love for basketball again that helped me revive my career. Uh, I learned a lot about my heritage, my culture. I learned to speak the language. It, it was a lot of fun. I'm very proud of my heritage. I'm very proud of who I am and the family I come from. Uh, I wouldn't change it for anything. I moved to Santa Cruz or to the G League because I had pretty much accomplished everything that there was to accomplish in, in Mexico. When he came and tried out for us, he was really like, I just want to prove to myself that I could play with these guys. That was his whole mentality. It wasn't like, I'm trying to go get a call up. He was trying to see if he can play with the guys in the G League, because he like, man, I know I can compete with these guys in the G League. You know, I'll never forget our training camp experience with Juan, because Aaron Miles and I sat him down, along with Ryan Atkinson, the day before camp started, and told him, essentially, we don't have a roster spot for you on this team, but go out there and, and make this a really difficult decision for us. He said, oh, I'm going to do that. And uh, he, he came and, and, and impressed everyone. He just kept going and going and going. It wasn't about how many shots he made. It wasn't about flashy plays. It was just about the effort. We're all kind of looking around at each other like, we have a problem because we really don't have a way to keep him, but we need to figure it out. Not only could this guy make the team, but he might be able to be a leader of the team. Santa Cruz was great. I loved Santa Cruz. And that was probably one of the most efficient times in my life in terms of development. And I feel like I made huge strides in that time on and off the floor. Toscano Anderson on the reverse. He was in the gym every day. Uh, it got to the point where we had to tell him, like, he, hey, you got to calm down a little bit. You can't come in the gym today because he was just working. You know, I didn't know that I was going to get a call up. Kent Lakeup called me. I had two missed calls from him when I woke up. And then he ended up texting me and was like, call me ASAP. And I just knew it. it either had to be something bad or something good. And I couldn't think of anything bad that I had done. So I'm like, it's got to be some good news. And now getting a chance finally to play in an NBA regular season game. And Mike, I had the pleasure of competing against him when I coached for USA Basketball. And he played for Mexico. He absolutely wreaked havoc on us defensively. What a great moment right now. Checking in for the Warriors, Juan Toscano Anderson. It'll be his first NBA action. Damian Lee gets it over. Toscano Anderson, first shot is up and good. That's a quarter three. And he's a native of East Oakland. This is a huge moment for this young man. And you notice 95. You don't see a lot of numbers 95 out there, but he wears that in honor of his grandparents because when they moved from Mexico to Oakland, they lived on 95th Avenue. It's just great to see someone that's been through what he's been through, through his journey, taking a chance on himself for him to be rewarded for that. I think what stands out about, about Juan is he's kind of a jack of all trades. You know, he's one of those guys when you, you put him out on the floor, good things happen. He plays with energy, but he just does a little of everything. You know, he's a good passer. He's a good rebounder. He's a good screen setter. He's a good cutter, so you can play him with anybody, and he understands the game, and he just fits, and so everything flows pretty smoothly while he's out there. Gives it up, down the lane to Scott Anderson. shot good, and a foul! He's going to get continuation. He heard the whistle as he was falling down, and he faked it in. You know, I want to contribute to this team. I want to contribute to this team's success. I know there are areas in my game where I need to uh, improve and get better at. You got help this way. You got help this way. You got help this way. Juan is a leader. 
He leads by example, and he's not afraid to be a vocal leader as well. And people respect him. Don't think so much. Play. You're a good player. I say I'm the first one. You're going to drop, and then I'm going to jump the second one. First one to 10. Let's go first one to 10. Let's go first one to 10. D. Lee, hold that. From the time of first meeting Juan to now, I mean, nothing, nothing about him has changed. He's really been the same person. Um, he's selfish in the sense that he knows what he can do, but he just wants to be the best that he can. I'm an everyday guy. I'm just coming here, I leave my ego at the door, and I'm do what I got to do to help this team win. Juan is uh, the pride of Oakland. I mean, he's got a lot of people who are very, very proud of him, who brings brings a lot to the table for our team. On Toscano Anderson out of Marquette, drive to the lane, Ooh. hammer it home. It's living proof that people who put in the work and have internal motivation and are about the right things, they can really accomplish some amazing things. You know, this isn't the end of the story. This is the next chapter. I live to play this game. I love this game. So any opportunity I can play, I'm going to take. And I'm exactly where I've always wanted to be.